If you ever find yourself in a survival situation or you just want to take advantage of the wild fruit that's available to you, there are rose hips. If I can get them to focus here. The rose hips. Now these ones aren't quite ripe yet. You can when they're ripe, they're quite soft. These ones are still a little on the hard side. So see if I can find some ripe ones and we'll show you how to process them. Okay, so these are rose hips. These are the ones that I just picked. Yeah, not quite ripe. They're still a little on the hard side. Probably another week or so before they're ready to actually uh, be nice and soft. But I thought I'd pick a few so I can show you what to do with them. So the first thing you do is you take your pocket knife and you cut the little rose off. And if there's any stems on it, like on this one here, you cut the stem off. Then you slice them in half. And you'll see that they're full of seeds. And those seeds are, ex are extremely hard, so you don't want to try and eat them. You'll I wouldn't go so far as to say you'd break your teeth on them, but they're certainly uh, way too hard to uh, be comfortable. Uh, good if you like fiber, but for the most part, you just scoop them out. So I'm just going to pause this, and I'll scoop them out, and I'll show you. Okay, so now we have the rose hip half. Here are some with the seeds out. You can see the seeds have been removed. Now these, you can take them home and put them on a cookie sheet and dry them out. Put them on a cookie sheet, just leave them on your counter, let them dry for a couple of weeks. Store them away. When you want to make some tea, you can make tea. You can actually cook these down, add a little sugar to it and make jam with them. Uh, you can make jelly. Um, uh, they're very high in vitamin C. Uh, they actually have more vitamin C than oranges. Um, they're full of antioxidants, so they're very healthy for you. And just so you show it, uh, so I can show that they're quite edible. I'm just going to flip the camera around. And you see here I have one of these rose hips. Turn the camera so it's got some better light. And I'm going to eat one. So again, they're, these ones are not quite ripe, so they're, they're not very sweet. Although they're not real sweet, just to, even when they are very ripe. Um, but they're certainly um, not distasteful. Uh, they're quite quite tasty, actually. So in a survival situation, you could pick these. Or if you want to just pick them and take them back to camp and make some tea or jam or take them home. Um, the First Nations of, of, um, of British Columbia uh, used to pick these in the fall and dry them and they would use those as part of their staple food for the entire winter. Okay, I found some rose hips that are nice and ripe. Oh, have a look at these. You can see how soft they are. And I squeeze them. And they squeeze very simply and actually they burst right open quite easily. So they're quite soft. You can see the juice on the end of my fingers there. So those are the, that's ideally what you want to try and find when you're picking your rose hips. Get them nice and ripe like that and then they're and then they're a little bit on the sweet side or at least as sweet as they're ever going to get. They're not never going to get sweet like a blueberry or a blackberry but um, because of their high nutritional value they're quite good. Anyway, these are the kind you want, nice and soft. You can see that it is squish open. I hope you enjoyed this segment of Camping Tips.